Hi everyone, so welcome back to another video and today I'm going to show you how you can connect your GoDaddy email, the professional business email to your mobile devices. So this method will work for both Android and iPhone and I cannot use the screen recording method because I tried earlier and it didn't worked out uh, fine. So this is the method I have to use it to manually record the process. So let's begin. First open the Gmail app. You can also use this method for the iCloud app. Okay. Then from here on right top, just add another account. And then you will see this option, select other. Here enter the Gmail uh, email ID. Okay, then click on next. And from here you will have to select this option, personal IMAP. Okay. Now enter the password of that email and click on next. Okay, so here now we have to fill the incoming server settings. Here we enter imap dot secure server dot net. Okay, um, then click on next. And now we have to fill the outgoing server settings. Here you have to enter SMTP out dot secure server dot net. Okay. Then click on, um, sorry, make sure that there is no spelling mistake. Um, you can also get this from the video description. Click on next. Okay, so that's how easy it is to set up. But unfortunately, not every time this will be, this will work so smoothly because before creating this video, I tried it multiple times and sometimes you will see error. So I will tell you quickly how to fix them. Sometime it will show you that the connection is not secure. So that's usually when you enter the server address incorrectly. So make sure the spellings are correct. And for that, the port should be 993 SSL for incoming. For outgoing, it is SMTP out dot secure server dot net port six four six five SSL TSL uh, TLS, and this information will also be in the video description. So if you see that error, you can put that manually. Okay, now you can change the sync frequency. So basically, this means how frequently you want the app to check if there is any new email on your server. Um, so you can keep it at default fifteen minutes or if you want you can increase it but there is no point so you can change these settings if you want then click on um, here next okay and then from here this put your name what you want your anyone receiving your emails to see so you can also change this later but here okay then click on next and your account setup is done again I will go here and here you can see this is the new account I just added. Okay, we'll select that and this is my inbox. If I want, I can compose any email. Just put your two email and send it just like normally you do. And I have already done its testing as you can see here. Okay, so everything was working perfectly. So I will not do it again to keep the video link short. Okay, but if this method doesn't work for you or you want some alternative, let me show you that as well. Um, for this, you will need to use the Play Store if you are on Android or you can use the App Store if for iPhone and download this app, Microsoft Outlook. Make sure that it is correctly from the Microsoft Corporation. I have already installed this, so I will just open it. Okay, this is the best app, I think. I mean, with Gmail, I sometimes I get errors, but with this, it's all just automatic. Okay, from here, click on add account. And here, enter the email. Okay, so just enter the correct email and then click on continue. And Microsoft will automatically recognize all the settings and everything unlike google you won't have to manually put uh, things here from here select imap 
okay and then it will ask you for your password just paste that here then you can put your name here okay again the display name so you can see here work ID. so um, this will just help you to identify if you have multiple accounts okay and then click on this top uh, tick button on top right here then this will automatically check those server settings and everything and that's about it it's done okay then just I will select here maybe later okay and here is the message okay so if you want you can load more messages so if you want to write a message from here just click here and then again just send it to whoever you want I will send a test message just to show you uh, that's working hey hello um, okay so I will just send it okay it is going you can see here um, this may take a few seconds sometimes okay so it has been sent and let's check the gmail um, okay so this is the message i just sent you can see i got it okay so it's working perfectly and i hope you will be able to set up your email on your mobile devices now if you have any question doubts or you get any error uh, post in the comments and if you this if you found this video helpful please post your feedback in the comments that will be really helpful and give this video a like so that's it guys for this video i will see you in the next video